guys. I'm going to go and kick things off here. Uh, my name is Drew Taylor. Um, I really appreciate everybody for showing up on this call. Um, I know a lot of you personally, but for those who do not, um, I've been in the AI Forex trading space for about three and a half years now. Uh, some of you guys know my story. Um, you know, I've tried just about every Forex product on the market, uh, only to find that about 99% of them were garbage until I was introduced to higher level. Uh, higher level is essentially when all that changed for me. And uh, so I've really just invested three and a half years of my life just to understand the markets, understand software, so on and so forth, which is what makes me so excited for this partnership that higher level is, is putting together with Crypto Dylan here. Um, Dylan is by far one of the most profitable and consistent crypto traders in the game. Um, he's been averaging about 2% profit every single day that he trades for, for the last two and a half years. Um, that's just unheard of in this space. And as you guys have, who have been in the Forex space for a little while, you see the ups and downs of these things. So to be that consistently profitable is quite the feat. So with this partnership between Higher Level and Dylan, what they've done is, uh, you know, obviously uh, some doors were opened uh, for essentially them to meet. Um, you know, they found that he is an incredible crypto trader and they had already been wanting to add a crypto element to the, the higher level products. And so because Dylan is so consistently profitable, they decided, you know what, this might be a great fit. And so today what we're doing is we are going to be introducing Dylan to the rest of the community. So thank you all for jumping on. As you guys are hopping on here, do me a favor, um, go ahead and drop your city and state or country, wherever you guys are tuning in from, drop that in the chat. We'll get through some of those. But um, like I said, I'm very, very excited to introduce you guys to Dylan. Uh, and I will also say this, if you guys actually stay till the end, we have, have something special um, that's going to be um, beneficial to every single person on this call, special, or I could say profitable. So you'll definitely want to stay around till the end. And, um, and so I think we're going to kick it off. There we go. We got Wisconsin, Phoenix, Orlando, Sweden, Kansas City, goodness gracious, San Francisco, Colorado. Beautiful. Dude, you guys are awesome. Um, we're going to go and kick things off. Guys, um, I just wanted to, uh, once again, thank you all for tuning in. But before we get too far, I want to go ahead and introduce the man, the myth, the legend, Crypto Dylan, onto the call here. There we go. All right. Very cool. Dylan, how goes it, man? It's good, man. Good. Thanks for having me. Yeah, absolutely. Been, been waiting for this for a couple of weeks now. So I'm excited that we're finally here. And that, uh, you know, all these people can jump on to, to meet you, uh, you know, as in person as we can be in this digital age. Uh, and so, yeah, I'm excited to just kind of dive into more of your story, uh, allow people to get to know you a little bit better and, and hear some more of your experience. That's all right. Absolutely. Cool. Well, rock and roll. As I mentioned, guys, you know, Dylan is one of the most consistently prof uh, crypt profitable crypto traders in the game. The amount of, uh, you know, skill that is required to get to that point is uh, just unbelievable for most. Um, being in this space for many, many years, um, you guys would have to understand, I've seen a lot of people uh, do a lot of different things, but as far as consistency in the market, that's like, that's like you know, cream of the crop type of trader. And so I'm excited to uh, learn more about that, Dylan, as we jump into it. So um, yeah, I guess, yeah, Let's jump into you, bro. Let's uh, let's ask, you know, in regards to your your background and whatnot, you know, what was your maybe like your childhood like education? Um, you know, what did you do before you were a full time trader? All right. Childhood took place in uh, southeast Missouri. Little red right. down there was there was not much computers. Um, from there, I went to crane school and started running the crane and somehow landed in the oil field and and from the oil field, sold my business and moved to Arizona and kind of got into crypto trading. And it's, it's been a roller coaster. Oh, I can only imagine, bro. Crypto is a roller coaster. So <laughs> uh, that's just when you're holding it. So I can only imagine with trading it. Yeah. Well, what's weird is when you're trading it and you're short and you're hoping it goes down, but then all your bags you're holding, your whole portfolio is also going down. So it's a little mixed emotions at times. Absolutely. A little nerve wracking, to say the least. For sure. Well, very cool, man. Well, I'm very you know, curious in regards to your trading. Like, have you always been interested in trading or when did your, uh, you know, your interest in trading start? 
I've always been interested in it. Um, my grandpa used to go over stock picks with me on the newspaper every Sunday, what he was going to do for the next week. And he was not a professional trader by any means, but it got me interested in the space. And from there, um, I never really fooled with it much besides buying and holding yep. until crypto came around. And I found out that you could trade crypto on leverage. And then I got wrecked a bunch. <laughs> yes, yes. Well, hey, some of those lessons are expensive ones, but obviously you've, you've learned some good ones along the way, which is awesome. Yes, yes. It is uh, very cool. Well, on your journey to becoming, you know, uh, you know, full time professional trader, um, were there any sort of like limiting beliefs or anything that you had to come over uh, overcome early on? I know that, like you said, trading is a roller coaster. So just kind of see what your head game was like along the way. Right. Yeah. I mean, I've been everywhere you can imagine mentally with it. Um, yeah. Up in the middle of the nights because crypto is twenty four seven. That market doesn't stop. So if you're in a trade, you're in it. Um, yeah, I don't. That's a tough question. <laughs> mm. I'm trying to think here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I can only imagine what, uh, yeah, it, you know, uh, those different times. I guess maybe this is a better way for me to ask that question is, uh, you know, uh, what was your mindset like when you just kind of kept going and going? Uh, how, how did you keep going when you, when you did get wrecked along the way? Yeah, I just kept putting putting more money in it. I had a full time job as well, and I never let myself get too extended to where I couldn't afford to try it again. So managing risk was a big lesson learned along the way. And mm -hmm. the biggest thing that changed for me was instead of trying to hit you know that home run once or twice a week, I cut my trades down and I tried to make two or three percent a trade two or three times a day. And with that mindset it opened up a whole new world for me. So I bet, bro. Can only imagine. Well, in regards to, you know, you kind of getting over that, that hump, uh, what would you say, uh, what do you think is what helped you progress in your trading the most? Um, honestly, it was a desire to be, to be free and I'm pretty hard headed. So I'm, I'm tough to teach a lesson too. <laughs> Yes, uh, it's a it's a a gift and a curse. It is. It is. But I wouldn't trade it for the world. It's it's helped me to get to where we're at right now, and I absolutely love it. It's awesome, man. Well, um, you being a full time trader for how long now? Oh, I don't. I don't. I've been trading full time probably for. Um, even during my day job, which don't tell them that they probably wouldn't like that. But, <laughs> well, I don't know, three years or so. Okay. Awesome, man. So not too long at all, but long enough to uh, get to that freedom that you're talking about. Right. Um, you know, well, as a full-time trader, you know, who also helps a lot, of, you, know, you have your own community, you help a lot of people. Um, what does a typical day look like for you? Oh man, it's, uh, Obviously, first thing, wake up, check the phone, see what the market's doing. Uh, yeah. Then, because I'm now full time, I get to I get to be home a lot more. So, get to help the wife get the kids ready for school, and then one of us will take them, and then I I come in and dive in the charts and talk to the community, see what they're thinking, and have, you know, we just kind of cross share our thoughts there. And every once in a while, I'll post uh, <clears throat> post some trade setups, show them where I'm at, and. If, a lot of them will follow along. So try to make everybody a little money on that particular day and call it a good day. Yeah, that is awesome, bro. I'm, I'm right there with you. I think, uh, you know, they always say it's lonely at the top, but that's only if you don't help people up along with you, you know? Absolutely. So that's cool, bro. Um, you guys, if you guys are getting out, uh, some value out of this, uh, drop uh, 777 in the chat. Just want to make sure you guys are, learning something and, uh, you know, just getting to know Dylan on another level. There we go. Awesome. Lots of sevens here, rock and roll. Um, and yeah, uh, if you guys would like to, to get to the point where you've got the, the trader lifestyle, the, you know, the day trader routine, uh, just say yes in the chat, because I think that's what a lot of people on this call are looking for. 
looking to learn and uh, get to that status. And so there we go. Yes, sir. Love it. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much. Um, well, cool. Well, I'm going to go ahead and uh, jump into uh, a few things here. You kind of already answered this, but maybe you want to kind of go uh, dissect this a little bit deeper. And knowing that you've been trading for quite a while, it's just kind of always been something that you've done. Um, what would you say is what made you want to become a crypto trader? Uh, crypto, because the market is volatile and it just suits my personality. And there's life-changing money to be made there. So that was that was a leading factor. And then just the opportunity to be free and have the trader's lifestyle was was the ultimate goal. Very cool, man. Do you, would you say that you went harder, uh, you know, once you kind of got deep into crypto? Uh, when it, obviously, you've been trading for a while, but would you say that you just went 10x, went a lot harder once you saw the volatility and the potential of crypto? Yes, absolutely. It, Very cool, man. It opened up, yes. uh, opened up some new windows in my mind. That, absolutely. Well, cool. Well, uh, next one I got for you is... Um, you've kind of already alluded to this a little bit, but what would you say has been your biggest struggle so far on your, your trading journey? Trying to hit the home runs for sure. <laughs> you know, yep. Everybody wants to, uh, to short Bitcoin at 69,000 or long it at 28,000. But uh, the truth is very few people catch the tops and the bottoms. So yeah. being more content within my, my trading. Yeah. That's uh, good advice, everybody. If you guys are listening to that, uh, he's giving you some nuggets right there. It's not about swinging for the fences. It's about getting those base hits, you know, little percentiles or even partial percentiles along the way. Um, you know, consistency beats home runs okay. any day of the week. Yeah. Just check out a uh, compound interest calculator. It'll tell you everything you need to know. That is a good call, actually. Yes, I actually probably pull that up. Um, later on here, if we have time, but uh, yeah, compound interest, the eighth wonder of the world, right? Those who don't know about it, pay for it. Exactly. Heck yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, well, this is kind of getting into more personal and, you know, you can go more broad spectrum if you like, but, you know, what would you say is like your number one goal uh, with your trading, you know, here in 2022 and moving forward? Um, reaching back, honestly. I've gotten to a position where I'm, I'm blessed to be at. And if things keep going like this, it's, it puts me in a great spot. So that was part of what led to this partnership with higher level. Yeah. And Very what cool. we got coming down the pipeline for later. Blessed to be a blessing. I'm right there with you, bro. I think that is awesome. Absolutely. All right. Um, what would you say, um, you know, yeah, what, what would you hope to achieve? I mean, you kind of already mentioned that, but yeah, what all do you hope to achieve by this partnership at higher level? I, I want to give everybody a fighting chance if, if there's a way, you know, even, even if it's small accounts that you're compounding your, your daily accounts and you're getting 50 or $100 a day um, for a lot of people, just to be able to supplement their income with something like that would, would be a game changer for them. Mm -hmm. Help fight Absolutely. Inflation, or maybe it's a vacation at the end of the year, or your Christmas for your kids are a little better. That's, Very that's, cool, man. that's the end game. Yep. No doubt, bro. It's that ripple effect, you know, it just keeps moving forward. And, you know, that's, what's awesome about higher level is they've already impacted a lot of people thus far. Um, but there's just, always another level, you know, always another higher level. Sure. And uh, so it's been cool to see that progress over the years. And I think this is going to be uh, one that takes us to, you know, a place that none of us have ever been before as a company or as individuals. So super excited about that. Yes. All right. Um, well, I'll kind of keep that open here. What I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to go ahead and if I saw see some questions kind of pop up in the chat here just because, you know, we'll kind of keep it short and sweet, but, you know, I've got a couple of closer questions here that I'll save towards the end. Um, let's see here, guys. Yeah, and if you guys have other questions, feel free to drop in the chat. I can't promise that we'll get to all of them, uh, but we will We'll try. Um, uh, we have a question from Kate Griffin here. Um, 
who said, what were the key, ele- uh, key events that helped you create a system to foster consistent or predictable results? Oh man, trial and error. Like that's a, that's a tough question and one you could spend a lifetime answering. Um, yeah, just mindset really learn how to manage your risk and just compound your trades. Once I, once I started thinking about trading is compounding like an interest account, instead of trying to hit home runs, my whole trading life changed. And I bet, bro. also started to change my life at that point. So there's no doubt. Um, what, what do you think contributed the most to that mindset? Would you say? Um, just being open to learning new things and trying new things and wanting to be better. That's, that's what led me there. What do you think, uh, where do you think, you know, you get your drive from that drive to be better? Oh man, that's something my, my dad probably instilled in me from the time I could, I could, uh, walk. Awesome. Yeah. Sounds like a good dude, man. Uh, yeah. It's less than that category. Good. Good stuff, man. No, the parents, you know, who push their kids to continue to move forward and, you know, and make the world a better place. Not, you know, I mean, what's the quote? It's, uh, you know, you want to change the world, start by changing yourself. And so to be able to do that uh, and then lead people into the promise line, in essence, you know, because you can only lead people, uh, lead people through once you've already been there, you know, once you've made it through the wilderness. Right. Absolutely. Okay, cool. Um, I'm going through some here. Oh, this is a great question by Caleb, who asked, um, how long did it take you to become consistently profitable? Consistently profitable? Um, probably, probably about four to six months before I became consistent. Wow. Okay. That's amazing. I did a lot of paper trading. Good before, so I was I was practicing with 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 fake money before I went with my own money. That's a key. There's another tip for you guys for all those who are looking to use the higher level products, uh, eventually the crypto products, things like that, to become a consistently profitable trader. Uh, what he is speaking is just pure gold. I mean, there's no you know if, if you're not a consistently profitable trader, why would you trade on the live account? If it's Stay not on, it. on paper, it's not going to not going to work on cash. <laughs> no doubt, no doubt, bro. I think a lot of people fool themselves into it, and so uh, the fact that you're talking about mindset is is huge because that that is all part of the mindset. You know, is getting to the point where you're consistently profitable. But there's a whole nother level when you go from consistently prof- profitable paper trading or on a demo account to consistently profitable on on a live account with real money. Because once there's real money involved, there's a lot more emotion involved, and we are very emotional creatures. So you can only imagine how messy that can get. Yes, absolutely. Okay, uh, we got another one here. This is from Brian. Um, she's asking, "What is your why?" What is my why? To to be free. I don't. That's, yeah, that's my why, and spend be able to have more time with with my wife and kids. Like, yeah, I'm right there with you, bro. I got my. I live free hat on. And so uh, I need to get one of these out to you, bro. Because uh, yeah. yes, I mean, the Freedom Society, that's what it's all about is, is get free, you know, put your oxygen, oxygen mask on and then help other people get free and put theirs on. Perfect. Um, we got one from Benjamin here uh, asking any books or resources that you would recommend uh, for them to build mindset? Oh, um. The Candlestick Bible is a good one. Okay. Uh, I I don't I watch thousands and thousands of YouTube videos and I can't think of one at the moment off the top of my head for mindset. But yeah, just YouTube is a great source for all of that and awesome. for learning at that as well. No doubt, man. I mean, you've got you've got literally you know, centuries worth of college degrees in YouTube that are accessible to everybody. And even if it's not where you end, it's a great place to start. That's for sure. Um, 
here. Uh, we got a question from JE, which uh, is asking, are you a margin or a spot trader? Both. Both. Okay. Um, definitely have your bags and you can't be scared to take profit in your spot bags because if you don't, they essentially have nothing. So that's the way I do it. If, if something runs up real big, I will at least sell my initials out. So you're playing with house money from there on the spot. And then margin is, is what I do. Margin and leverage trading every day. That's, that's my, it's my bread and butter. Awesome. And I, this may apply to you. It may not. Um, uh, this one is uh, Z uh, man asking uh, what is the largest drawdown you've taken so far? That's even, a, I'm not sure how that works on crypto, but. Yeah, I would assume just your biggest loss that you've taken? Maybe. Um, so in, in Forex, we have drawdown, which is where you hold a position and it goes against you. And then you hold it until you place, you know, you hedge out of it. Um, right. So, you know, that's just, you know, you can use X percent of your account. So in regards to the crypto space, yeah, maybe it's just, I guess, yeah, that, we'll just, <laughs> I was going to say, maybe we we'll just say percentage, you know, you don't have to say your worst loss or anything. I'm thinking. Yeah. I mean, I don't know one crypto trader that hasn't been liquidated on a trade and it's for sure it's happened to me, but you know, where crypto is different than Forex is you don't have to, it doesn't draw down against your entire account unless you're cross, cross margin. Mm -hmm. You're not constantly drawing on your entire account balance. So if you only wanted to put a thousand dollars in that trade, and just let it ride, you can. And then when that thousand gets liquidated, your trade's over, but you still have the rest of your account. Yes. I, that's how I trade. I think that's the best way to do it. You know, just 1% risk per trade it goes the wrong way, hit your stop loss, move on, you know, don't cry about it. Yeah. Um, uh, Jason is asking, you know, if the strategy that you use, is it, uh, is it scalping or are you more of an intraday trader? Both. I, I trade probabilities and setups and when they're there, yeah. you take them and that's how the numbers work. Not just the ones you feel, you got to take them all that you see or otherwise the ratio gets messed up. Yes. Yeah. Listen to that guys. Um, you know, he's an extremely versatile trader. And so as long as it meets his trading plan, he's going to exit, he's going to, excuse me, enter on that trade. Um, and I think that answers Xavier's questions as well, as far as, uh, you know, what type of crypto trading you do daily, long-term holds, so on and so forth, which, yeah, I believe it's all the above. You kind of do some scalping, but you'll hold stuff for a couple of weeks at a time as well. All right. Um, so, yeah, I think that's it for right now. Uh, okay, I got, I'll do one more. What's your average risk to reward ratio and, and win rate? You can even... Know that off the top of your head. Um, so last month, I, I actually sent this to HLX, but um, had 29 profitable days and one unprofitable day last month. Uh, my as far as risk to reward ratio, I don't, I don't know because every trades I enter a different amount, and I trade yeah. with multiple accounts, so I don't and based on my strategy, it has to do with certain points in the chart, not necessarily so much as risk to reward, uh, reward ratio. Mm -hmm. So everyone's a little different. Beautiful. Guys, if you guys didn't do the math on that, uh, 29 out of 30 trading days being profitable is 96.6% .6 profitability last month. So <laughs> I'll, I'll say you don't have to. They're not all that good, but that was last month. That was like, okay. Awesome. Well, hey, either way, as I mean, you can only imagine what some of the other months are, you know, if that's just last month, you know, pick a random month. Um, I, one thing I will say here is, um, you know, I've, I've got someone who's asking, uh, where did that question go? Okay, when will the new crypto product be available? And will there be training? So I'll get into that. I'll kind of mention that again here towards the end. Um, we actually go live with uh, with Dylan uh, every Wednesday at this exact same time from here for the foreseeable future. So if you guys would like to jump on the charts with Dylan, um, you know, actually trade alongside Dylan, 
you know, see some of his setups, everything that, uh, you know, you know, he is doing to essentially find these, uh, these markups and whatnot, uh, you guys will essentially get firsthand information, kind of just get the peek over his shoulder as if he is there in the room helping you place the trades. And so it's going to be extremely uh, valuable. So uh, obviously you guys should definitely uh, set your calendars, make sure you're there every single week. And uh, we also have another uh, exciting announcement. You guys may have seen this in the email or on the uh, Telegram channel, but Higher Level is working directly with Dylan to create a, an expert advisor, a software that actually mimics his exact trading strategy. So not only are you going to be able to peek over your shoulder and trade alongside Dylan, but you're actually going to be able to use a software with uh, entry points, just like how Dylan takes trades, set stop loss, set, set take profit, no, no max drawdown, any of that stuff. Uh, it's going to be absolutely insane. And cool part about it is beta testing starts tomorrow. So as you guys know, we're going to obviously be beta testing this for a little while, make sure everything is working accordingly. Uh, but we will be uh, releasing that obviously in the very, very uh, soon future. So if you guys are excited about that, drop a 777 in the chat. Let's see who's excited. Boom. There it is. Yes, guys, you guys have no idea how I'm excited, excited I am. I mean, some of you do, we're, you know, we're in different groups together. This is going to be, like I said, what kind of takes us to the next level. So very excited about that. Look at all the sevens, geez. Can't even scroll through them. All right. Uh, well, I'm going to go ahead and just kind of start jumping on the, you know, the last third of, of as we kind of head out of here. Um, so I've just got just more like personal, a couple personal questions, uh, you know, just so people can uh, get to know you as an individual a little bit better. Um, and the question is this, if you could go back to any point in time in your life and give yourself some advice in three words or less, when would that be? And what would you say? In three words or less? Yep. Ooh. I know. I had this question asked me yesterday, actually, but he said in three sentences or less. I thought he said three words, so I gave him a three-word answer. So I'm like, well, okay. So, <laughs> yeah, we'll do three words. Let's make it fun. Um, probably when I was getting into this, do it now. Mm. Don't wait. If that is awesome. Because, I mean, this this has changed my life in the way that I'm able to live day to day. So just getting started. Heck yeah, man. Very good. Do it now. There it is. Do it now. Heck yeah. Love it. I, I think that's, uh, you know, that's a, another nugget of wisdom for you guys as well. If you're putting anything off, whether that is, you know, getting to the next level in your trading or business or whatever it is, just do it now. Um, you know, that's one of the biggest regrets of people on their deathbed is, you know, uh, not doing the things that they actually wanted to do. Um, there it is. Eat the crumbs. <laughs> yes. There we go. Awesome, man. Um, and then I got another, uh, you know, somewhat personal question for you. Um, who has been the most impactful person on your journey so far? Man, I have the guy that said eat the crumbs. He's been he's been very good at advising me. He's in my community as well. Oh, uh, cool. He's actually a co-founder of it. But uh, getting help like that along the way. But honestly, on the day to day, my wife, you know, putting up with me sometimes getting up in the middle of the night to a price alert or checking a trade. You know, I all credit's got to go to her on this one. That's awesome, bro. Good stuff. Um, okay. Uh, okay. Last few questions, bro, and then we'll close this out. Um, right. Thank you guys for, for sticking on. Like I said, we got a, one, one last thing to announce at the end here, which is going to be uh, awesome for you. Um, and so, uh, you know, for anyone who is on the fence of, you know, of starting to become like a Forex trader or a crypto trader, what advice would you have for them? Do your own research. Trade a paper account before you throw your real money in it. 
and learn how to manage risk before trading. So, yes, solid advice. That's advice from someone who has their mindset on point. Heck yeah. Um, well, cool. Well, guys, uh, before we head out of here, um, I'm going to actually go ahead and announce, um, you know, just this little bonus that we want to throw out there. I gift to you guys. Uh, we got two things here. First thing that I'm going to announce is if you're already a part of higher level, uh, but, or, or maybe you used to be a part of higher level or have a friend or a family member who has been wanting to check out the higher level products, um, just get back to whoever invited you to this call. Um, they're going to actually send you a promo code so that anybody that you love, care about, uh, or know who is very, is interested in the crypto space and wanting to jump on for this next level that we're about to head to, I just get back with them and they're going to actually give you a promo code. So those individuals where you, if you used to be a member and you're not anymore, you can actually use the HLX products 30 days, totally free and decide if you guys want to stick along, uh, for the ride when we go to level crypto. So it's going to be epic. So that's number one. Uh, number two is we're actually, um, for those who actually stick around a few more minutes, we're actually going to allow Dylan to, uh, well, he's been gracious enough to actually go over, uh, a, you know, some, a chart with us, um, just kind of explain some of his you know, mindset as he's, uh, looking for trades, things like that. And so obviously no guarantee that, uh, he'll have a trade ready for you guys, but at least, uh, you know, we'll get to kind of see him in action. So that's cool with you, Dylan. We can hop into that now. Yeah, absolutely. Awesome. Let me find this screen here. Always take your time. Boom. All right. If you guys are excited to actually uh, see Dylan in action, obviously, you know, we'll be back here this next week to kind of go through more of this. But I mean, this is just kind of a sneak peek. So if you guys are excited, uh, just say yay. Give me a yay in the chat. <laughs> Yes, sir. There it is. Yay. Love it. All right. I'm not seeing the share my screen option. Let's see here. Uh, let's see. Could we get uh, tech support to uh, allow screen sharing? Real quick here. Okay. He says it's allowed. Okay. So if you open up the Zoom box, the Zoom, uh, you know, window there, it should be at the very bottom of the screen. Okay, here we go. Nice. Uh, it's not giving me the option. Hmm. Let's see here. Oh, let's see if this one works. Okay. Hey, there it is. Sick. Can you guys all see this? You know, let's just drop another seven in the chat if you would. Just want to make sure I'm not the only one. Boom, boom, boom. Awesome. Thank you. You guys have been super helpful, so thank you. All right, so I actually was on this a little earlier messing around because that's kind of what I do. Uh, mm -hmm. We've got our swing down. Obviously, Bitcoin's in a downtrend right now. So I'm simply looking for my next scalp move. And I have went through and pulled some fibs. And... This is the trade that I am currently in right now. And mm. I, I think it might be coming again. So should we go ahead and share the whole trade? Yeah, yeah, you guys tell me. Should he go ahead and share the whole trade? If so, drop, drop 777. Boom. Uh, yeah. <laughs> All right, come on. All right, all right. Who wants to check it out? Boom, boom, boom. Let's go. All right, here it is. This Please. is what this is what I'm looking for right here. Oh wow! Okay. Boom. 
So I got filled on this trade earlier on my way to the barber shop, honestly. So I'm currently in this trade. And the way that I like to manage is it manage it on this particular trade. I'm not expecting a lot. It's it's crazy markets right now, but mm -hmm. at one point this trade was two point almost two and a half percent into profit. So wow. A solid little setup, but beautiful. Know. And she's still pretty close. I mean, for those who are watching, if you guys keep an eye on your BTC USD chart. Um, you know, if this thing makes a move up, uh, you, you guys kind of, you can even see his entry on this bad boy and she's kind of playing around right now. Um, just something to pay attention to, but as always, if you are going to place this trade, use your stop loss, this never place a trade without it. <laughs> not financial advice, not financial advice at all. Um, yeah. I can set up right now that I'm looking at, do you, uh, do you have any questions concerning the Bitcoin market or what you're thinking or? Yeah, that's a great question. Uh, you guys, yeah, have any questions about Bitcoin? Uh, thoughts on where we're going with things? Obviously, we've been moving bearish for a little while now. And so I know I've got some people in here who are very, very deep in the crypto space, <laughs> Bryce. Um, and so if you guys have questions, this is the time to ask them. So Feel free to drop them in there. Boom. Okay. Um, so this is uh, more of a longevity question. Uh, what would you? What's your twelve month target on on Bitcoin? Ooh, that's a tough one. Um, yeah. I don't know. It depends how low we go here. If Bitcoin gets into the, you know, the twenty eights and twenty fives. I, I think we're looking at about 18 months before we're back up there in the 40s or 50s, or maybe even going on towards new all-time highs. Yes. Now, if we can absolutely, we can hold around 32, and the whole stock market kind of chills out, and the dollar stops running so much. I, I think I think we could see a pretty, a reasonably fast turnaround. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Next, next pump is going to be wild. That's for sure. Yes. But you know, got to buck a few people off for, you know, for a little while. <laughs> so might as well trade in the margins though, you know, right. St still plenty of trades out there. Uh, let's see here. Um, Bryce asked, um, you know, long story short, if you have any indicators that you, uh, that you would recommend the average person use. Um, yeah, there's there's a few indicators out there. Um, I used Market Cipher for the longest time, but it's a paid for subscription. Um, okay. I actually just quit using it recently, and I don't necessarily want to get in it too much till I speak with HLX on all of that because we have we were working together and kind of have created our own custom indicator that we're going to be using for to power our software so dope so awesome man i didn't know if you're an rsi guy or anything like that i, I know a couple rsi traders and they crush it man it's it's surprising never worked for me but yeah. <laughs> everyone's got their own you know their own uh you know way to take trades absolutely all right last question i got and we'll start to close things out here dude thank you so much for sharing that um Guys, this is just a small taste of what is to come in the coming weeks where we get to hop on live calls like this with Dylan. Um, actually, check out what he's looking at on the charts, trade alongside him, and you know, uh, start shooting for some incredible, um, you know, incredible weekly returns. Uh, not financial advice, this is just, uh, you know, looking at, uh, you know, charts and reviewing for educational purposes. But either way, we look forward to having you guys on these calls here in the near future. But, so, last question I had, I have here from Kay Griffith is uh, Griffin. Excuse me. How do you how do market factors play into your strategy, or are you one hundred percent technical analysis? Uh, I mean, definitely market. You have to can you have to factor in some of it because right now Bitcoin is tied to the Nasdaq and inverse of the DXY. So I I 
keep both of those open uh, every time I'm charting. I keep an eye on that, but most of it is technical analysis. Okay. Beautiful. I mean, news events that it does play into effect. Like when uh, Russia invaded Ukraine. Oh uh, yeah. That was a nasty fall that night once it was announced on the globe. So very crazy, man. Yeah. It's been a wild ride, man. And you know, the markets are going, you know, wild ever since we've seen it in Forex, we've seen it in crypto and especially in the stock market. And so, um, you know, who knows how long, how much longer it's going to go on as well. You know, this thing could keep going for a while, but that's why become a consistently profitable trader. doesn't matter what's going on in the markets. You still find your entries and, uh, you know, and that's all that matters. So very cool. Well, let's see here. If I could get tech support, or maybe you might be able to do it at the top of your screen. Are you able to do stop screen share there? Hope you guys paid attention while he was sharing his screen there. You guys got uh, some value and now you have a setup to actually pay attention to. So that's what's up. And we may have to have, yeah, the tech team go ahead and stop the screen share. I can't do it from my side. But oh, here we go. That's it. Got her. Yay. There we go. All right. Sweet, man. Well, cool. There he is. Um, guys, I'm just going to kind of uh, bring everything together. Um, first off, Dylan, thank you so much, bro, for hopping on here with us. Um, I think, yeah, there's a lot of people saying thank you in the chat. You guys are awesome. Thank you guys for showing up as well. Um, obviously, we wanted to get everybody introduced. The majority of people here are already using higher level products, you know, in the, in the fourth space, but are super duper excited about learning as much as they can from you about crypto and just, you know, um, you know, get ultimately getting their hands on the software. And so, and obviously a lot of people tuning in just to learn more from you as well. And so thank you for that. Um, guys, uh, I'll, you know, say it again here. I don't think I dropped it, but if you guys have, um, somebody who wants to check out the uh, HLX products in preparation of uh, this crypto launch, um, they can use promo code HLX22. Um, it was dropped in the chat there for you guys if you need it. And outside of that, let's see here. Um, the, yeah, uh, we'll be back same time, same place next week, uh, Wednesday, 3.30 Eastern, 2.30 Central, 12.30 PM Pacific time. So make sure you guys are on these calls live. These obviously, as we're looking at charts, the market moves quick. You got to be on live if, if you're going to really take advantage of this. So make sure you're there. Um, I think we had well over 100 people on here today, which is awesome. So awesome. And so um, I'll ask you this, man. It, um, Dylan, is there any final words that you want to leave those who are watching this right now? And I, I'm just so excited and happy to be partnered with HLX and for you guys to see what's coming down the pipeline on the crypto side of things. Oh, yeah. Not going to know what hit him, man. It's going to be sick. <laughs> I'm excited. Awesome. Yes, me too, bro. So excited. Well, um, guys, uh, just a reminder, next call is going to be May 4th at 3.30 p.m. Eastern. So we'll just throw that out there again. Um, make sure you, if you guys are not already join the freedom society Forex group on Facebook there. Um, and if you'd like to start, uh, trading with Dylan or watching his trades, um, just go ahead and reach out to myself or whoever invited you to this call. And we'll make sure that you guys have access to jump on the next call. And outside of that, once again, Dylan, thank you so much, bro. Super helpful. It's great to get to know you more. And, uh, we look forward to having you back here next week. Can't wait. I appreciate it. All right. Thanks, y'all. Take care, and we'll see you guys next week.